Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sharani. Today I'm going to show you how to make Belizean style hot dogs. The first thing you're going to need is some onion. And the way I like to cut it is to just cut it in half first and then slice it from there. You don't want it too thick or too thin, just somewhere in the middle. The amount of onion you're making depends on how much you like on your hot dog and how many hot dogs you're making. But what I like to do is just cook up an amount and keep it in the fridge. And then when I'm ready to make my hot dog, I just heat it up and put it on my hot dog. As always, I'm going to have the exact measurements in the description box below for you. If you're new to my channel, welcome and thank you for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. And be sure to click the notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. Okay, so to my pan set over medium heat, I'm adding 2 tablespoons of butter. To that, I'm adding the whole onion that I sliced. Give that a stir to loosen up the slices. To that, I'm adding a half a teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder. I think back home in Belize they just say consomme. And I'm adding a half a teaspoon of dried parsley. And I learned about the parsley from my niece Tamara. So gyal tummy, thanks for the tip B. <laughs> I really like it with the parsley. I think there's no right or wrong way to do this. You can cook it to your liking. I like to cook it until it's starting to get brown but you can cook it until it's all the way caramelized or you can just cook it up a little bit so it's all up to you and how you like it. Let me know in the comments below what you like to put on your hot dog. How do you like to eat yours? Okay, now that my onion is cooked to how I like it, I'm going to take it out and put it in a plate. I like to use the same pan to cook my hot dogs, and I just cook them until they get brown to my liking. I know some people boil their hot dogs, but I don't do that because I don't want to dirty up another pan. I feel like why do all that, you know? So I just put it in the same pan and it's fine to me. It doesn't take long at all, so just keep moving them around because they get brown really fast. Okay, so this is how I like them. If you want to toast your bread, you can toast it in the same pan. And just keep an eye on it because it toasts up really fast. I mean, sometimes I toast mine, sometimes I don't. It all depends on how I feel. When it comes to the spread, I like a mixture of ketchup, mayo, and mustard. And I don't have a specific measurement, I just do equal amounts of each one, and I just eyeball it. I know some people don't like mustard, so if you don't like that, you can just skip the mustard or 
Just do whatever you want with your hot dog. It's your dog. To assemble a hot dog, the first thing I'm going to do is put some of the spread in the bread. And I put a generous amount. I like a lot in there, so I'm putting a lot. I think if I was going for looks, it looks prettier when you just put the ketchup on top, then you put some mustard and some mayo. It looks prettier. But when it comes to taste, I feel like it tastes better when you mix it all together and then put it in the bread. If you haven't been following me on Instagram yet, you can do so at Cooking with Sharani. I'm always sharing stuff over there, so come follow me. Okay, now you're going to put a hot dog in each one and then top it with as much onion as you want. And there you go, Belizean style hot dogs. So simple and yet so good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help out my channel. It helps to get my videos out there. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to do that. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.